Hi friends, we wanted to do a Zoom class to kind of remind everybody of our Zoom rules and how we should be respectful to all of our friends together on our Zoom, okay? So we're gonna do a, a silly little reenactment of how maybe our Zooms go together. Hello friends, welcome to our Zoom. Can we all sing our eyes are watching, ears are listening song together? Can I get a thumbs up? Okay, ready on the count of three. One, two, three. Eyes are watching, ears are listening. Voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen on our Zoom. On our Zoom. Good job, you guys. I see that your bodies are calm. So. Now, my friend Elizabeth, can you tell me what the first letter in your name is? Teacher Maddie, oh. Teacher Maddie, mine's D. It's D. Mine's D. Oh, um, Danica, I hear that you have something to say, but first I asked Elizabeth. So can we listen to what she's saying first and then I'll come back to you, okay? Danica, okay. I'm going to mute your microphone so that your teacher can talk to your other friends. We'll uh, come back to you, okay, Danica? Thank you for being patient. So parents, it's great if you can be sitting with your child during a situation like this and help, help support them on how to be patient and just know and tell them that we will come back to them and that it's important for our microphones to be muted so we can hear everybody in the class and everybody has a chance to share what they are learning about or what we're asking them and we will make sure to get to everybody in the class. Okay, friends, so now we're going to do another activity, okay? So, um, Danica, can you maybe tell me what your favorite color is? Oh, Danica, I hear there's some loud music happening in the background. Maybe, can you not hear me? Can you not hear me, Danica? Maybe put your microphone on mute and then ask your parent or adult around you to maybe lower the volume. Thank you for muting Danica. And thank you for muting Sarah. Parents, it's also important to have a quiet learning environment for your child when we are on our Zoom so they are able to learn just for that short amount of time that we have them and just making sure they have a consistent and quiet learning environment. Okay, now Elizabeth, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? It's okay, Elizabeth. Can can you tell me what your favorite animal is? Elizabeth, teacher Maddie's asking you a question. Can you tell her what your favorite animal is? Oh, it's a penguin. A penguin. I love that. Adults at home, it's great. Sometimes your child's not sure how to answer a question if you are sitting there with them and you can help support them and encourage them in answering these questions or helping thinking of ideas together. So maybe they feel more supported while on their Zoom with all their friends. And just one more time, we just wanna say thank you so much for giving all your efforts for our Zoom class. This is something new that we're all learning and we appreciate your patience and your support at home. That is huge for us teachers. And we just wanna say thank you so much for working with us and being willing to be on all of our Zooms easier. Bye.